Jock, as a coach, does it give you confidence, especially after watching Ben's performance tonight, that this team will only continue to improve the closer it gets to full health? You know, I... I continue to tell our guys, CJ, to, to believe in the process of what we're doing. And, uh, you know, some of the evidence was our defensive numbers in January. And so our ability to continue to defend even when we weren't winning games. Uh, I think there is a, another level to this team. Uh, first of all, going through some of those losses at the end of the game. I said they were going to be good for us. We, we're going to look back on this and remember that we went through these trying times together and got on the other side. Now, as we get healthy and we start playing with uh, uh, different teammates and understand the rhythm of each guy, uh, I do think uh, there's a lot of good basketball ahead for this group. We got to get healthy, continue to play with each other, continue to hone in how we want to uh, play offensively and defensively. Uh, but there's a lot of good to come from this team for sure. In the January, in the early month win over OKC here. You played Nick Claxton in longer stints for the first time in a long time as he was subbing with Sharp. And kind of since that game, he's looked like the Nick Claxton of at least last season, dunking on people, playing with a swag and an energy that you saw to that, saw tonight. Have you seen anything specific that you know may have led to that change over the last month, or is his win just back? Uh, it's a combination of things, Lucas. Uh, you know, we have so much data that we're able to to tap into and see where guys are at at different times of their career because Nick's been with us for his entire career. And to see how robust he is and see where he's growing and see him where uh, he still needs some improvement. The task was to try to get him to a conditioning level where he could play longer stints. And so that was a uh, concerted effort. And so that uh, you see, we've been running him probably the most he's had his whole career. He played 38 the other night, almost close to 40. Tonight was a little less for him, which was good. But pushing the boundaries of continuing to have him grow as a, as a player. The, the high-level dudes in these leagues are able to do it over and over again at 30-plus a night. Uh, so we'll continue to have a balance of having short stints some games. Uh, you saw tonight the, the difference in when he was out there, who he was on the floor with. That was a big uh, substitution pattern for tonight, which seemed to work pretty well. But extending him minutes was a part of a process for him. Coach, there was a moment Ben Simmons got the steal and a two-hand slam, and he looks up in the Barclays crowd. It seemed like he was almost taken in the moment. How good did it feel just to see him realize that moment, given all the frustrating injuries he's been through? Ben, ben doesn't want to be hurt. He didn't want to be hurt. Uh, he was playing good basketball at the beginning of the year for this team, and we were in a lot of close games at the beginning of the year. And so um, he wants to play. Now, I'll say that to the world or whoever. He wants to play. He wants to play here. He has the ability to impact a team. And uh, uh, for him to uh, get a chance to do it tonight and with a win, uh, just impressive effort.